substate action coming your way here at six o'clock tonight. Uh, we're going to sit here. We're going to talk for a few minutes as we watch um, the Atchison Phoenix warm up and we watch the uh, El Dorado High School Wildcats warm up. They will be squaring off tonight in the first round substate action. Atchison comes in with an 18 and two record. They are the number one seed in 4A East. They are currently ranked second overall in the in 4A boys state rankings by the Kansas Basketball Coaches Association. And they've been top five all year, folks. They've been top five all year. They're having a great year. Um, the winner tonight will then move on in the state tourney for uh, sub-state tournament for Saturday. They'll play Saturday. And that is going to be the winner tonight will play the winner of Eudora and Parsons. Eudora and Parsons. So... We're going to go ahead and dive into some some basketball stuff here. So, Atchison comes in tonight averaging 69.2 points per game. That is very, very good. Um, I've been talking to Coach Battle all year long about, you know, his team and where they're at and things like that. Uh, El Dorado comes in averaging 46.8 points per game. They're, they're bringing into town a 2-18 and 18 record, okay? Um, and you have to imagine that Coach Battle has his has his guys ready to go for this. I know they don't pay attention to records or anything like that. They look at stats and talking to Coach Battle. I, I've I've spent some time talking to him this week about you know where where he feels the team is at and where he feels like they can go. But we'll save some of that for Saturday. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be back Saturday uh, doing this again. Um, before we get going too far, and we'll do this again right before we start, um, we do want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to our administration here at the high school. Um, we want to thank them so much for everything that they do for us here. Uh, Superintendent Dr. Renee Nugent, principal up here, her first year doing a fantastic job, Mrs. Letitia Williams. Assistant principal, his first year up here, doing a fantastic job, Mr. Blaine Clarity. Uh, our athletic director, he was at the middle school, now he's athletic director for both middle school and high school, Mr. Tyler Lukanoff, doing a great job here. Yes, Mr. Clarity has spent more time here than I have, because he was a history teacher here before I started. So he left for a year, and then he was in St. Joe for a year and came back. Uh, Ms. Williams, she's been here, she's from here. Um, some of you may know her as Letitia Downing. She was a principal at Central for a number of years, and then she uh, made the move up here. So we're super thankful for everything that they do. We also want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Nightinger in his farewell tour uh, here at Ashton High School. This is his last year with us. He will be retiring and heading off into the sunset, heading off into the sunset uh, next, next year. I know he's very excited for what's to come. So, and our entire high school broadcast team, they do a phenomenal job. They're so well organized. It's, it's really been, you know, I haven't done this at all this year, but it's really been a treat to kind of jump back into it and watch them work. And, you know, there were some things that I needed as far as graphics and stuff like that, which we'll, we'll be throwing up hopefully on Saturday. But they've really dove in and they've done a great job. And I'm so, we're so thankful to have Mr. Reininger and his crew here tonight to bring you this game. Uh, not on NFHS, but here for free on YouTube and Rainbow. We're very thankful for that. Okay, so let's dive into some stats here. So, um, I had I have Jeter in class two two uh, two hours a day. Poor Jeter. Um, he sees me third and fourth hour, and I told him that I said I need some stats. I said I want I want to get I want to get a feel for where we're at. And talking to Jeter, he kind of gave me the rundown. So. Uh, points per game wise, so first of all, let's go through our starting five. We have Zamar, Hernandez, Jeter Purdy, Trey Carter, uh, Josiah Kelly, which we'll call Jay-Z tonight, and then Eric Smith the third. Okay, he he gave me the stats uh, of the top six, seven guys um, on the team in, in the first seven in the rotation, I think. I don't really, I'm not for sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, so... Tonight, averaging points per game, we have Jeter Purdy coming in with 17.9 points per game. Zamar comes in with 15.4. Uh, Eric Smith comes in with 12 points per game. Trey Carter comes in with uh, 8.4 points per game. Jay-Z comes in averaging 7. 
Uh, Jace Richards, who's coming back from injury, uh, he, he uh, messed up his knee pretty bad this playing summer basketball. Uh, he's, he, he's coming in averaging 3.9. And then Yogi Purdy, sophomore, is averaging 3.2 points per game. Rebounds-wise, um, Eric's up at the top with 7.2 rebounds per game. Uh, Jeter, 6.5 rebounds. Zamar, 4.8 rebounds. Trey, 4.2. Jay-Z, 3.0. Jace 2.1 and Yogi 1.7. Assists per game. Uh, Trey's averaging 6.9. He's our leading assist uh, assist person on this team. And then we have Zamar averaging 4.1 assists. Jeter 2.4. Jay Z 2.4 also. Eric 1.9. Jace 0.4 and Yogi 0.3 assists per game. And then. Finally, I asked for free throw percentage because this is kind of one of those things like I really wanted to dive into a little bit was uh, free throw percentage and, and just doing the little things right. I mean, if you do it right, you get those free throws, and those are, I don't want to call them easy points because there's no easy points in high school basketball, right? There's no, nothing should be easy at this point in the season, okay? But you get those, and they're, you know, you shoot them, and you shoot them well, and, and you're getting free points, okay? Jeter was 71. 0.2% free throw shooter. Zamar, 68.4. Jay-Z, 61.5. Trey, 60.5. Eric, 58.8. Yogi, 56.3. And Jay's 53.8 free throw percent shooter. Um, let's talk a little bit about El Dorado. Okay? Uh, they're coming in from the down in south central Kansas. They're around the Wichita area. They're close. I'm not going to say it's a, a suburb of Wichita because it's not. But they're around the Wichita area, for those of you who don't know. Like I said, they come in averaging 46.8 points per game. Okay, they're bringing in a 2-18 and record. Um, their leading points per game score, his name is Logan Garner. He is averaging 20.6 points per game. Um, 2.9 rebounds per game. 2.4 assists per game. Okay. Um, next, we have... Next highest on the list, we have... Uh, Sam Green, uh, he is averaging 5.6 points per game. Uh, he's not next highest, I apologize to that. He is on my list from Max Preps, but he is not on the roster. Um, so Sam Green's averaging 5.6 points per game, 3.3 uh, rebounds per game, and 0.3 assists per game. Okay, those are your two leading guys on El Dorado. As far as shooting, field goal percentage, uh, Sam Green is a 36% field goal shooter, and Lance Gardner is a 44% free throw shooter. So you got a couple of guys that are right there. Um, Trace Fowler. Averaging 4.2 points per game, averaging um, 2.3 rebounds, 1.1 assists, and he is a 26% free throw shooter. Sam Green, 36% free throws. And then Chase Lesh, he is a 38% um, free throw shooter. Um, I got some other stats that we'll get to later in the night. Um, three point percentage for El Dorado. I didn't have Jeter go too deep in it. Um, but let's dive into a little bit and talk a little bit about. I sat down with Coach Battle uh, yesterday, and he. I asked him just you know four questions, um, and I talked about you know we we had a conversation before about the league that Atchison plays in. You know we play in that Metal Art Conference, and the thing with that Metal Art Conference is this is a very heavily invested conference into basketball. This they are very very good at basketball. Um, you know, we, we, the only two losses this year are Metal Art Conference teams, and it's Highland Park, okay? And Highland Park is ranked third in 5A boys. That is a very good basketball team. And there's always, there's always teams that will give you trouble based in the Metal Art Conference. They are very tall. They are very, very good shooters. And they just play good, solid basketball. So I, I talked to him a little bit about, you know, how does that kind of get you where you want to go? And he's like, well, it gives you a challenge and it pushes you to be the best you can be. 
So with that, I, I, I branched off and I asked him about peaking at the right time of the season. You know, as a coach, you want your team to, to build up all year long, kind of like you're climbing a mountain. You want to hit the top of the mountain right when, you know, the playoffs start and right when... <clears throat> right when the playoffs start and right when you really start getting into the nitty gritty of the season. And he said last week they played, you know, Schlegel and Washington, which are two very tough teams. Washington always plays um, Atchison tough and in, in any sport, in any sport, it's always a dog fight in football and wrestling, everything, okay? Um, he, he, I, I, so the question was, like, do you feel like you're peaking at the right time of the season? Is there a fear you may have peaked too early? Uh, he says, no, he, we are not peaking too early. Um, he said, they're still on the upward. He's like, practice has been better now than it has been all year long. Um, and he says, that is typically for his team a good sign that they have not peaked too early. When practice starts to go down, then you start to get, you know, you, you start to see the, the performance on the court going down. Um, Last week, like I said, they played Washington Schlegel. And, and he said they're fine-tuning a lot of the smaller things. They're trying to work in and, and fine-tune the smaller things. You know, doing the little things right. Coach Battle's incredibly detail-oriented. Um, he told me he's watched 14 hours of film on El Marino, which is a lot of film. So he's got a pretty good feel for where they're at. He says, you know, we're 18-2. and two. He does not feel like we're on the decline. And he said, he, he emphasizes, he said, this team has not played its best basketball yet. So they play good basketball, but this is not the best basketball he knows they can play. Hopefully, like I said, we'll start to hit that, start to hit that stride, and eventually, once we get past Substate, you swing up and you hit your stride right as soon as the state tournament starts. Because it's a sprint. Once you get into the state basketball tournament, it is a sprint. I mean, you're playing, you're playing three games. Hopefully, okay. In a matter of days, it goes quick. Um, and I asked him about Jace coming back from injury. And, you know, when you have an injury like that, to a, a guy who played a lot of minutes last year, you know, we, we talked last year on this broadcast about all of the time that Jace spent on the court and what he provides. He provides that massive wingspan at six foot five height. Um, and I talked to him, I said, he says, first of all, Jace adds a lot of size. He had lots of length and great ability to rebound. Okay. And he's not playing a ton of minutes yet. They're still working him back in. You know, you got to start trusting stuff, start trusting that knee again. Um, he said that Jason proves a rebounding. Um, you know, it's obviously not the role that Jason was expecting to have this year, but due to the injury, things change, and you have to make adjustments as you go, right? You have to adjust and, and change. Um, he said he's very, very valuable in practice. He's a great practice player. Um, he's he's you know versatile. He allows flexibility within the practice. You know things like that. So um, the next question was kind of more like overarching sixty thousand foot. You know about focus. You know because as we know these are high school kids. You know they're you know fourteen to eighteen years old. And one of the things that you gotta you gotta focus on is you gotta keep these guys focused and ready to play at all times. Um, you know, the weather has been just gorgeous. Spring sports started this week. We have a number of uh, basketball players who are going to do track and are going to play baseball. And, you know, like, you know, you've got those guys out there who want to want to participate in those sports. But at the same time, they need to understand that right now the more the more pressing need is basketball. And I said, so how do you keep your guys focused with all of this going on, all of these outside forces and outside factors just pummeling your team at all times. And he, and he says, you know, we're relying on the senior leadership of this team. You know, as far as, as far as ages of all of these guys, you know, you've got Zamar is a senior, Jeter is a senior, Trey is a senior, Jay-Z is a junior, Eric's a junior, okay? You, you've got a lot going on there that you have to keep these guys focused and you have to keep them available and ready to go at any given time. So 
he said, not only do we rely on these senior leaderships to kind of show the young guys the way and how we how we play basketball at Ashton High School, but also these guys are are super super motivated. You know, talking to them in class, talking to them about these guys are are more motivated now than they were last year. You know, for these seniors, it's their last shot. You know, it's their last shot to get to the state tournament and do something special. You know be in that elite company of those teams in the state that can call themselves one of the best teams. So, um, you know, we're, this, this leadership is one of the most important things for this team. Guys are on time, they're present, and that is one of the things that's very dependent on leadership. If your seniors are late and not there, you know, you can be there but not be present. Like, if your mind is elsewhere, you know, that's not good. Okay, that's not a good thing. Okay, and so when we're talking about this um, this team, he said these, these seniors are super focused, and he said you know they're not focused on records and stats and like that. He said they focus on the basketball side. Of it. How are we playing basketball? You know, are we? Passing the ball? Are we are we sharing? Are we doing? Are we getting it to the open guy? Are we doing what we need to do? Okay. Um, very very dependent on the leadership. And, and so right now they're focusing more more so on focus, focusing on execution and the little details of the game. Going where you're supposed to go based on the play. Going and doing what you're supposed to do at any given time. Okay. And so. He answered my fourth question before I asked it, but I asked him, I said, how important is the senior leadership on this team? He said, critical. The seniors will take us where we go, where we need to go. Okay? The seniors are in the lead, and they're going to take them where they need to go. I, you know, the seniors on this team, most, you know, all of them were football players for us. You know, Zamar, Jeter, Trey, Jay-Z was a big contributor. Eric was a huge contributor for us on the football field. So... These guys, and, and we had a long football season. You know, we played 11 games this year in football. So these guys, they know what it takes to compete at the highest level. Okay, they know what it takes to compete at the highest level, and and doing those things is of the utmost importance. Okay, and so with that, I ask the final question: Is are, are they ready? Is I, I hope so, and that's. That's the best thing, you know. When we were getting ready to play Tom and Oxy in the sectional round of the playoffs this year, I, I, I also I also coach football, and I was, I was talking to my wife one night, and I said, I'm just so nervous about this. I just can't. And she's like, I, she's like, I get it. She's like, you're completely as a coach, you're completely out of control, and you just have to go out and hope that these guys perform like you know they can, like you know they have the ability to. We know. And, and, and we know what this team is capable of, and we know what they can do and all of these things. So, you know, we are we're three minutes away from this game starting. These guys look loose. They look ready to go. They look prepared. They look, they look prepared, okay? Um, they, you know, watching them, as you can see them kind of going over and shaking the coach's hands and, and all of these things, they look like they're ready to play, okay? They look like they're ready to play. Um, Coach Battle's worn the same outfit all year for every single game, that red polo and those khaki pants. I asked him, can I put on a tie for Substate? No. No, we're 18 and 2. Why would I change what I wear when we're 18 and 2? And I completely get that. I wore the same pair of shoes for two consecutive years every single Friday night. So, um, like I said, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, take a second, and we're going to thank our sponsors for – what they do to support us here. You know, Daylight Donuts uh, down there on Commercial Street for all of your donut needs. Um, they have, uh, they have, I think they have sausage rolls now, biscuits and gravy, uh, and donuts. They have coffee, iced coffee. They have all sorts of things down there. Really great place to go and get some breakfast. Um, Cornerstone Printing. Sadie Stone down there at Cornerstone, she does a phenomenal job of getting our guys, um, getting their gear and getting what they need. Um, she's got a quick turnaround when, when, when we need it. You know, she does a lot of our shirts, a lot of our t-shirts and stuff like that she does. And we're super appreciative of everything that she does. So those are our sponsors. 
We are a minute and a half away. I'm assuming we're gonna we're gonna be getting ready for the anthem here in just a moment. Um, real quick, let's give a huge shout out to our band. Our band is directed by Mr. Kevin Rieger, assisted by Mr. Paul White. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you can, if the band is playing currently, but you should be able to hear them at halftime. Um, real quick, let's give a shout out to our cheerleaders. Um, you'll probably see them coming onto the court um, at some point tonight to pop up the crowd. <clears throat> There's a lot of them this year. There's a lot of them this year. They are coached by Miss Brittany Schultz. And so we're super, super appreciative of everything that she does and all the time that she puts in with our cheerleaders. Right? You can see a couple of them um, coming onto the court now. Here they come. So teams are getting ready. They're back to their benches. Refs are getting ready. I think we are getting ready for player introductions. I am assuming we're going to start with El Dorado. Yep, here we go. Eight minutes is on the clock. Four eight-minute quarters tonight with a halftime. Anthem is first. It looks like the anthem is first. Real quick, let's give a huge shout out to the girls basketball team this year. They had a phenomenal season. Unfortunately, it, ended, it did end last night with a loss to Independence in their first round of All right, here we go for player introductions. All right, I know for sure we have Sam Green is starting. We have Logan Garner, number one, he's six foot uh, senior. Trace Fowler, number three, he is a six foot senior as well. Chase Lash, a six foot three sophomore. I'm sorry, a six foot three senior. He's a sophomore. His number is 10. And. All right, here we go. Your address in Phoenix, starting tonight for the Phoenix, is number zero, Zamar Hernandez, five foot ten senior. Next up, we have number two, Jeter Purdy, six foot four senior. Next up, we have number three, five foot nine senior, Trey Carter. Next up, we have number 10, six foot one junior, Jay-Z Kelly. And finally, number 23, six foot three junior, Eric Smith III. We are ready to roll. minutes on the clock. You can see the Phoenix there getting ready to roll. El Dorado breaks the huddle. Phoenix getting ready. Ref comes out to midcourt with the basketball. Who is 
going to be there. It looks like Jeter is there for the tip. We are underway here at Atchison High School. Atchison with the first possession. Trey Carter coming down the court there, crossing that mid-court line, setting up the offense. Here we go to Zamar, back to Trey. Trey's got it. He throws it down there to Eric. Oh, Eric just barely missed that. And that is a rebound by El Dorado. And here they come up the court. First possession coming up empty for the Phoenix. El Dorado's trying to set up their offense and get something going on. That is number one, Logan Gardner with the ball. He passes it around, goes battles and get your arms up, plays defense here. Laredo moving that ball around a lot. They're moving that ball around a lot, trying to get shot up. And no good. Rebound by El Dorado. They get the ball right back. All right, here we go. Back, moving that basketball around is the El Dorado Wildcats. Oh, we dropped it. Picked up by Jay-Z Kelly, thrown it down the court to Zamar. Zamar puts it up and it's good. Your first points of the night go to the Atchison Phoenix. All right. So your score, two to nothing in favor of the Phoenix. El Dorado back on offense, trying to get something going here and match that score. They don't want to get down too far to these guys. It's going to be hard for them to keep up if they get down too far. Shot up, no good. Rebound, El Dorado. Took that right out of the hands of Jay-Z. Moving that ball around. Got number one there. Logan Gardner with the ball. Suffocating man defense there by the Phoenix. And Trey Carter. And your fifth starter, I'm sorry. I, I caught this. But I mean, Zachary Jacobs is your fifth starter there for the uh, um, the Wildcats. Shot no good. Rebounded by the Phoenix. Zamaro's got it. He's going to pass it down low to Jeter. Who's going to put up a little jump shot, and he's going to make that as well. Four nothing here in favor of the in the early parts of this first quarter. All right, six minutes to go here in the first quarter, and Ashton playing that suffocating man defense that they're so very good at. Played it a lot last year, I remember, and they were very good at that. All right, that is number ten with the ball there, Chase Lash. He's going to pass it around. Oh, and we've got a foul already. That looks like it is going to be the first foul on Sumi Trey Carter. First team foul of the night, and that is foul number one on Trey Carter. All right, El Dorado to inbounds the ball here. Junior's got it. Trey's got it. Pass to Eric. Eric puts it up, and it's good. Six nothing. Foul on El Dorado in the process, so Eric's going to get a free throw. And one here. Okay, and that is the first foul on El Dorado. The first team foul for El Dorado. And that is the 10 shade flash. Uh, so both teams with one foul in the early going. And Eric's going to try and tack on one extra point here to give the Phoenix a 7 0 lead. And he missed that free throw, but it is rebounded. No rebound. And another foul here. Pushing. Second team foul on the Phoenix. And that foul is going to be called. Down low. That was on Zamar. All right, El Dorado has the ball. They're taking it up the floor. So Action with two fouls. Jay Z playing some good defense there. Trey's got him now. Into the lane. The counter. He's got to get out of there. And he does. And he throws it right back there. At the top of the three point line. Back down. All right, Trey Carter there on defense. Nice pick there. Pick, pick play. And we got a hole called. That is going to be foul number two on Trey. And he cannot believe he's beside himself. Foul number two there on Trey. All right, in comes Yogi. Yogi Purdy, sophomore, checking in. Out comes Trey. Coach Battle is going to take him out of the game. And two fouls there. All right, El Dorado back on offense. Something to do. Trying to break through here and cut into this 6 nothing lead at the Phoenix Good defense 
there by the Phoenix. They're not giving them much. And we have another foul. Double dribble, maybe. Missed the call there. Might have been a double dribble. Uh, so the Phoenix will get the ball there. The actress in baseline, and they're going to take it out. All right, that is Jay-Z to Zamar. And Zamar is going to take it up the floor here. There he goes, passing midcourt. He passes it over to Eric. Who passes it to Jeter, who passes it to Yogi. Yogi picks it up, and it is good. Two more points for the Phoenix. 8-0 in favor of the Phoenix. 4.30 to go in the first quarter. El Dorado back on offense. Just a flurry of activity here by the Phoenix. A flurry of offense. Hopefully they can continue to roll here in this defense, can continue to roll, and we can continue to have fun. Oh, there, that is going to be a foul. Going to shoot two free throws here. That is the fourth team foul on the Phoenix. And that one is going to be called on here. And then it's his first foul of the night. That is the fourth team foul on the Phoenix. Two free throws for the Alberta Wildcats. First one is up and it is good. That is number 10 at the line, Chase Lesh. He is one for one tonight on free throws. Incoming free throw number two. Cuts that lead to eight to one in favor of the Phoenix. Free throw up number two is good. It is up and it is good. All right. Jay-Z's got it. They're moving quick. jeter has got it down low to Eric. Eric puts it up and good. That was quick work on the offense by the Phoenix. Ten nothing. Or ten to two is your score now. Four. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter, and we're going to have a timeout call. We're going to have our first timeout of the night at 3.59 to go in the first quarter. First timeout. Out come your, out come your Phoenix cheerleaders. Overgo the El Dorado cheerleaders, and we're going to we're going to get some action here. So, first impressions so far, the Phoenix offense. They are moving and grooving. They are they are seem like they're making pretty quick work on offense. Uh, that first possession, they they struggled. Eric just barely missed that, but at the same time, you know, getting the feel for the game, you completely understand that. Um, defensively, very very suffocating this far. The only points of the night so far for the radio have actually come on free throws. And it's the only points they've scored all night long come on free throws. So you can see you can see the the defense working as well. See the defense working as well. Um, timeout 13, 10 seconds left in this timeout before we get going right back to it. I'm gonna assume that timeout was taken by Alderetta because they just wanted to stop. They wanted to stop the momentum. Hopefully, kind of get get resituated and get back on offense. All right, looks like Eldorado is gonna have a chance to inbounds the ball here. Taking the ball. They do have it shot up, and that one is good. That is a first shot, but uh, not a free throw that has been made. Zamar's got it. He's going to pass it over to uh, Jay-Z. Had it. He gave it to Yogi. Yogi put it up, but it looks like there's going to be a foul called. And Yogi is unable to make that one count. So 10-4 to 4 is your score. 10-4 to 4 is your score. El Dorado coming down with the ball. They cross midcourt. Moving that ball right around outside the three-point line there. What are they going to do here? They're going to try and kick it out there. They go up at the top, off to the side now. Lots of ball movement. Three-point shot up for El Dorado. Short, no good. Out of bounds. Off, last touch by the El Dorado Wildcats. So that is going to be Phoenix ball. Eric uh, gets it into Zamar. And Zamar is going to start working down the court. Crosses half court, gets it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z passes it all the way over. Back to Jay-Z, back to Zamar. Zamar trying to get something on Jeter down low. Oh, he could not quite wrangle that pass in. That was so close. Out of bounds on the Phoenix, El Dorado ball. He didn't look like he was quite ready for that. He was wide open, too. All right. Looks like the Phoenix are going to a little bit of a press here. Soft press. Just put a little pressure on him. 10 to 4 is your score here still. El Dorado trying to look to go on a run here. Hopefully they can get, they're hoping to get something going and try and stop the, 
and men into the Phoenix. Oh, that is a that is a stolen ball by Eric Smith. He's going to take it down. He's going to drive to the basket, put up a shot, and it's good. Two more points for the Phoenix. Your score now, 12 to 4. All right, Jay-Z on defense there. El Dorado's got it back on offense. They cross half court, pass it outside. Try to get it down low. Ball is tipped. Ball is on the ground, picked up by Zamar. Zamar Hernandez picked that ball up, and he's going to take it down the court. He's going to hurry. Pass over to Yogi. Yogi's got it. Yogi puts it in, and good. Two more points for your Phoenix. Phoenix now lead by 10. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. El Dorado back on offense here. Jay-Z playing some good defense there. Yogi's on defense. All right. Oh, I thought that was going to be up. Drives a little bit. Too long, too up and good. 6-14 to 14 is your score now. Oh, Zamar about lost that, but he got that. Great feet there by Zamar. Great feet, great save. All right. Long pass to Eric. He got that one one-handed. He's got it. He's going to pass it back over to Zamar. Look to go down low to Yogi. Didn't quite get there. Down low to Yogi. Yogi's got it. He's going to turn. Oh, blocked shot by the Phoenix or by the Wildcats. But it looks like Yogi is going to get to shoot a couple of free throws here. Yogi is a 56.3% free throw shooter on the year. That is number two for the... First free throw is up and good from Yogi Purdy. Number two, Abraham Pena. Okay, five foot seven meter. That is his first foul of the night. Second team foul on the Wildcats. Yogi's got one more free throw here. First one was up and good. Second free throw up, no good. Rebounded by number 20 of the Wildcats, Zachary Jacobs. And they're going to go right back on offense. 15 to 6 is your score. Phoenix lead by 9. 120 to go. Long pass, long two, up, in and out of the rim, rebounded by Yogi Purdy, passes it to his brother Jeter. Jeter throws a long pass down low to Jay-Z, who passes it right back to Eric, and Eric puts it up and good. El Dorado back on offense, 17 to six is your score now. Like I said, that Phoenix offense is working quick. They are moving and grooving. Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. 17 to six, Phoenix lead by 11. Less than a minute to go. El Dorado back on offense, down low, and we're gonna have to stop at the play here. Foul, two free throws coming for the Wildcats. Got a shove on Yogi Purdy. That is his uh, first foul of the night. His first foul. Fifth team foul for the Phoenix. So we've got Trey with two, Zamar with one, Eric with one, and Yogi with one. First free throw is up, no good. All right, second free throw coming. Number 20 is at the line, that is Zachary Jacobs. And on the year, he is an 82% free throw shooter. All right, so Phoenix back on offense here. That was a that was a one point. They, that second free throw was up and good. Yogi's got it. That was fast. He put up a two, and he got two more points for the Phoenix. 19 to seven is your score here. In about 20 seconds of game time, we have seen um, a foul, two free throws, and the Phoenix scored another basket. So we are moving. This is a fast-paced game so far. All right, 20 seconds to go in the first quarter, 19 to 7 to score. El Dorado still on offense. Number one has the ball there. That is Logan Garner. Six-foot senior. He's going to make a move. He's on Jay-Z's guarding him there. Got a pick play set. Oh, we dropped it. He's got it. Yogi's got it. We're going to have jump ball. We're going to have a jump ball. And that possession arrow was pointing towards the um, uh, the possession arrow was pointing towards the El Dorado bench. So they retain possession. Here we go. Inbounds incoming. Number 10's got it. That is Chase Lesh. He's got it. He passes it. Drive to the basket. Shot up. No good. Looks like we're going to have another. Uh, that's the end of the first quarter. Actually, end of the first quarter. All right, out come the cheerleaders. Here we go. Six fouls for the Phoenix, two fouls for the um, Wildcats. Um, we are 19 to seven is your score. Getting ready to start the second quarter here. We are moving and grooving. This has been a very fast game so far. 
Um, 19 to seven, hard to argue with that start for the Phoenix. You know, Coach Battle's gotta be happy with that. He's gotta be happy with, with the situational basketball that they're playing. They're playing really good basketball right now. As you can see, we do have our cheerleaders on the floor. So, getting ready to start the second quarter. Getting ready to start the second quarter here. Out come the Phoenix. Trey has checked back into the game, it looks like. So that two fouls is getting him back in the game. On the floor for the Phoenix. Five on the floor. We have Jeter, number two, number three, Trey, number zero, Zamar. Uh, looks like number 23, Eric, and then number 10, Jay-Z. So, back to the starting five. The only difference is Trey is back on there instead of Yogi uh, because Trey did have those two fouls. So, Trey's back on the floor. And he does have the ball. He is going to set up the offense, and he is going to run this offense right now. Over to Jay-Z. Jay-Z pass down to Jeter. Jeter over to Zamar. Zamar down to Eric. Eric's got it. He's going to uh, pass it over to Jeter. Jeter puts up a jump shot, and he makes it. He makes it. We are now 21-7 to in favor of the Phoenix, less than a minute into this second quarter. All right, El Dorado back on offense. They're wearing all black tonight, the Phoenix in all white. Passing around there outside the three-point line. Seems like El Dorado spends a lot of time outside that three-point line. I'm not sure if that's because they just can't get down low on that defense or if that's their intention. Trey is there on defense. That's good defense. Moving his feet. Great footwork there. All right. El Dorado still on offense, moving it around. Trying to make something happen. Pass outside, just three-point shot up, no good. Rebounded by Eldorado. They're going to reset here. They're going to reset and do their thing. Long three up, no good. That looks like it was might have been tipped. Jeter gets that. Long pass down low. Shot up and good. Two more points. Maybe I missed it. Scores 23 to 7. Yeah, that was two points. I mean, looks like we are going to have a 30-second timeout here. Um, called by, I'm assuming, El Dorado. All right, so 23 to 7. Um, if things can get a few more baskets here and, and stop the Wildcats from getting some baskets, we're going to be, you know, going into halftime looking pretty good. This is this is exactly the start to this is exactly the start to the game that you could have asked for if you're a Phoenix basketball fan. This is phenomenal. Hopefully they can continue this throughout the second quarter and into the second half. All right, 23 to seven is your score. 6.46 to go in the first half. All right, El Dorado on offense. Got a couple guys down there. They're gonna, move, they're gonna try and go quick. Ball was tipped by Eric. That was great defense there. But El Dorado does maintain possession. They are not making it easy on these Wildcats tonight. Long three-point shot up, and he swishes that. That is three more points for the Wildcats. All right, Phoenix lead now down to 13. Jay-Z's got it. He's going to put up a shot. No good. Too much on that off the backboard. El Dorado with the rebound there. Back on offense. All right. So we've got five. The starting five are still on the floor for the Phoenix, and El Dorado is on offense. Looks like there is somebody ready to check in for the Wildcats. And moving around outside that three-point line. Probably looking to try and cut this lead with another three-point shot up. And that one is good. That was number one, Logan Garner. All right, Phoenix back with the ball. Zamar's got it. He looks like he was going to drive. He drives. He does drive. Shot up and good. Two more points for the Phoenix. Back up by 12. El Dorado back on offense here. Still moving around that three-point line just outside. Probably looking to take another three. Long two, not quite a three. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Trey Carter. He's got it. Down to Jay-Z. Jay-Z out to Trey. Trey's going to take a three. Good! Trey's got it! Three more points. That brings the score to 28-13 to in favor of the Phoenix. All right, coming up upon five minutes to go in this first half. El Dorado back on offense, moving it around just outside that three-point line. Jeter on def 
defense there. Trey plays phenomenal defense. Oh, Eric got that. He stole that. He's going to have it, and he's going to jam it. Slam dunk for Eric. Two more points. 30 to 13 is your score. All right. The Phoenix have now more than doubled the score of the Wildcats. Okay, we're less than five minutes to go in the first half. Oh, to right up back on off. It's phenomenal steal and dunk by uh, Eric. Stolen by Jeter, passes Amar. Amar lays it in there for an easy layup. Two more points, 32 to 13. We are off and we are running here. 4.15 to go. Long pass over for the Wildcats who are back on offense. Oh, couldn't quite connect on that, but we could not get a Phoenix around that. Shot up, good for the Wildcats. Two more for them, 15 to 30. All right, Jeter's got the ball. They're moving quick. They're moving. Trey's going to take another three up off the back of the rim, rebounded by the Wildcats. Ooh, about lost that one there too. Oh, they lost it. Jeter's got it. He's going to pass it to Eric. Eric's got it. He's going to make a spin move, put it up. Good! All right, 34 to 15 is your score now. We're coming up on 338 to go in the first half. Long three for the Wildcats up off the back of the rim, rebounded by Zamar Hernandez. He's got it and looks like there is going to be a foul. Yep, there's going to be a foul. Foul called, first foul of the quarter on the Wildcats. That is number three. That is Trace Fowler. That is his first foul of the night. All right. Score 34 to 15, three and a half to go. Zamar's got it going to inbounds the ball here to Trey Carter. All right. Uh, while we were on that break, uh, Jace Richards was able to check into the game. He's six foot five junior. Yep, six foot five junior. Trey's got it. Looks like Jeter is Jeter still on. Jay Z might have come off. The court. Yeah, Jay Z came off the board. Looks like Coach Battle wants a little more length down low. Eric's got it. Puts it up. No good. Oh, tried to get put back by G Jeter. Couldn't quite get it. Ball bounced around. Eric got it back, and he put it in for two. 36 to 15, and we are running. Less than three to go in the first half here. Eldorado still on offense. They're going to drive, kick it out three. Long three up off the front of the rim, rebounded by Zamar. And Zamar's got it. He's running. Oh, they tried to trap him there, but he got out of it. He's going to lay in a layup. No good. But it looks like Zamar is going to go to the free throw line here. No, we're just going to get an inbound play. Uh, that is number three, Trace Fowler. That is his second foul of the night. All right, Trey's got it. He's going to inbound the ball. They're going to run a play. Pass it to Jeter. Jeter's got it. Put it up. Good. 38-15. All right, here we go. Otorito back on offense. Phoenix have made such quick work on off on offense. They've spent a lot of this game on defense. Oh, Zamar just took that right out of his hands. But we are going to stop play here. Looks like there was a timeout called to prevent that from happening. They got the timeout right before that happened. So out come the cheerleaders. Full timeout of one minute. 38-15 is your score. Um, as far as the start goes, this is this is about as good as it gets. We're going to get stats for you at halftime. Uh, Mr. Harris there on the bench, he's got, he's going to have stats for us, and I'll, I'll try and get you updated on stats and points scored and things like that. Uh, looks, it, it seems like, just from this perspective, that we've got a pretty good mix going on of people who are um, scoring points and people who are, you know, making the offense work, okay? Uh, foul trouble, Phoenix not in foul trouble at all tonight. Trey with two, Zamar with one, Eric with one, and Yogi with one. So, uh, let's see what's five come out on the court for the Phoenix. El Dorado breaks the huddle. They're going to start back on offense, probably right where they called that timeout from. All right, on the floor you have uh, Jace Richards, number 31, number 23, Eric Smith, number two, Jeter Purdy, number three, Trey Carter, number zero, Zamar Hernandez. There we go. El Dorado's got it there on offense. Thought about it. Outside the three now. Is he going to take another one? That's number one. That's <clears throat> Logan Gardner. Shot blocked there. Rebound by Zamar. He's got it. He's going to throw it down low to Jeter. Jeter's got it. Is he going to do something? And we're going to have another stop of the play. All right. 
right, we've got Jeter going. We've got Trey down there at the baseline. That is number one. That is Logan Gardner. That is his first foul of the night. All right, inbounds to Eric. Eric's got it, puts it in there, 40 to 15. Phoenix now lead by uh, 25. Yeah, that's not much All right, El Dorado back on offense. Ooh, about lost that. That was an awkward pass. Oh, Zamar's got it. He's got it. He can't get it. Oh, he got it. And easy layup. Two more easy points for the Phoenix. 42 to 15 is your score. Less than a minute and a half to go in this first half. And you got to be thinking that really all El Dorado wants to do is, is get into halftime, maybe score another basket. But they don't want to, they don't, really don't want to try and get the Phoenix anymore. All right, looks like Jay Z is ready to check in. And in comes Jay Z. Out comes, all right, in comes Jay Z and Yogi. Out goes Trey and Zamar. Pass over the head of Jeter. He, ba he bats that, and he Yogi's got it. Then he gets it to Jace, who passes it right back to Yogi. Yogi's moving up the court. He gets it to his brother, Jeter. Jeter's got it. Oh, shot blocked there by Eldorado, but the ball was on the floor, picked up by Yogi, and he's got it. Two more points, 44 to 15. Is just oh, Jeter stole that. He's got it. He's going to put it up. Good. Good. 46 to 15 is your score. Less than a minute to go now. Eldorado back on offense. three here to cut this lead going into half. You gotta imagine they're just trying to get there. We'll see what they do here. Moving it around, three point shot up, no good. Rebounded by Eric. All right, he gives it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z's moving it up the floor. 46 to 15, less than 30 seconds to go. Phoenix do not seem to be in a huge hurry here to get anything going. Jeter's got it. 20 seconds, less than 20 to go. He's going to pass it down to Yogi. Yogi's got it. He passed over to Jace. Jace couldn't quite get the handle on it. We are going to have a stoppage with 13.7 seconds to go. And it looks like... All right, Jeter's going to go down to the baseline to inbounds the ball. Inbounds play coming. Jeter's got it. They're moving. Eric... Up good, 48-15, less than 10 to go now. Less than 10 to go, no cheap points here is what the Phoenix want, okay? Jeter, oh, he got it, he's gonna put up a three! As the time expires, no good, just barely. What a first half, folks, what a first half. I, I am almost speechless here. 48-15 is your halftime score. 48-15 is your halftime score. Um, what, a, what a game. What a game so far. You've got to be happy with how the Phoenix are performing and everything that's been going on. We have a 10 minute halftime here. So we'll be back uh, here coming up here. Well, we'll probably try and get back to you with, you know, two to three minutes left in halftime. All right. Thank you very much.
All right, we are back here. Um, so I went and saw Mr. Harris. Okay, at halftime, he got me some stats. So leading score tonight so far for the Phoenix is Eric Smith with 18 points. Lamar's got 10. Yogi's got nine. Jeter's got eight, and Trey's got three for a grand total of 48. Um, for the Wildcats, Alberta Wildcats, Logan Gardner with five. Um, Chase Lesh with four, Sam Green with three, Zach Jacobs with three. All right, less than 30 seconds to go. So let's take a second, let's thank our sponsor before we get going back here. Uh, we want to thank Daylight Donuts, of course, on printing for everything they do for sponsoring our broadcasts and live streams. We're super appreciative for supporting our student athletes. All right, 48-15 is your score. We've switched sides now, and El Dorado is going to start on offense. Once again, back with our starting five. That's Trey, Jay-Z, Jeter, Eric, and Zamar. Okay. Oh, about got it. Jeter about got that. All right, Jeter's back on defense there. Uh, El Dorado's still on offense. Once again, spending a lot of time outside the three-point line. They put up a shot, and it is going to be good. First points of the second half will go to the El Dorado Wildcats. They now 17-48 to 48 is the score here. Trey has the ball. He is going to run this offense here the second half for us right now. Over to Jeter, down low to Eric. Eric reels that in with one hand. He puts it up, and it is good. 50-17 to 17 now. Trading two-point shots here. All right, let's see if the Phoenix need to stop here on defense. Down low. Oh, Eric about got a paw on that. Couldn't quite get it, though. All right. El Dorado's got it. They're moving it around once again. Outside that three. They're probably looking to try and take some threes here to try and cut into this uh, Phoenix lead. But we'll see. All right. Still moving it outside, trying to slow things down, maybe to shut off this high tempo of the Phoenix offense. Trying to drive up. Good. We are going to have a foul that is going to be called here. All right. And that is on Trey. That is Trey's third foul of the game. And at the free throw line right now is Logan Gardner. And he is a 44% free throw shooter. First shot up, no good. Rebound, Trey's got it. Over to Zamar, Zamar's got it. Lost it off of his foot. And El Dorado back on offense. They have an easy, oh, lost it. Couldn't quite get it. Jeter got it. Shot long ball to Eric. Eric about lost that out of bounds, but he managed to reel that back in. He's got those really long arms. Phenomenal point playing defense. Been long three for Jeter. Off the front of the rim. Eric's got it right back. Eric's going to take a three. Shot up, no good. In and out. Rebound, El Dorado. El Dorado back on offense. Six minutes to go in this third quarter. And he's going to step out of bounds. And the ball is going to go in the direction of the Phoenix because the Wildcats have possession. All right. Samar hands the ball to the official. And he's going to get it. Out, out comes Trey. In comes Yogi. Yogi's going to hand the – Yogi's going to get the ball. He inbounds it to Zamar, and Zamar's going to take it right off that A that's at midcourt. All right. Jay-Z's got the ball. He's going to pass it down low. Oh! He sacrificed himself. He hit the floor hard for that, and he tried to poke that out. All right. And it looks like there is going to be a foul. That is going to be on um, Logan Gardner. That is his second foul of the night. Okay. One foul each for the Phoenix. Oh, got a hand on that, but trying to get the ball to Jeter. And, but Jay-Z managed to reel that back in. Eric's got it now. He's going to pass it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z couldn't quite get a handle on it. Long pass for the Wildcats up and good. All right. Jeter, long pass down to Zamar. Zamar's got it. He's going to drive to the basket. El Dorado got a shot on that. Got a hand on that. They're going to long pass over. And now they're back outside the three-point line working their offense. All right. Long pass. Couldn't quite connect. We're going to have a foul that is going to be called on. We'll get a number here. Second foul on the Phoenix for the night. That is going to be on Yogi. That is his second foul of the night. All right. It looks like somebody's going to be taking a timeout here. I don't know if it was... Uh, the Phoenix or the Wildcats, but somebody's going to take a timeout. So while we're at timeout, we are going to thank our sponsors once again. 
um, for all they do for supporting us and supporting the Atchison High School Athletics and because they are sponsors for all of our sports. Uh, I know they were sponsors for football um, and we are going to have baseball broadcast when the baseball season is in the full swing. So you score 50 to 21. Um, the Phoenix coming out of half look a little I don't want to say high strung, but they look a little antsy, like they're trying to just push the pace a little bit. So, and, and that's what you want. You want to see him keep the pressure on. Um, Trey with three fouls on the night, starting to get into a little bit of trouble, but he should be okay at the end of the night. And he is going to come right back into the game here. Just a second, just to, you know, he's all right. Um, so on the floor, five on the floor for the Phoenix. We have Eric, Zamar, Trey, Yogi, and... Jeter. So Trey came in and Jay-Z came off. All right, so here we go. El Dorado is back on offense there. They're once again outside that three-point line. Moving that ball around. Phoenix are trying to prevent them from going down low. Shot up for the uh, Wildcats. No good. Rebound by Jeter Purdy. He's got it. Long pass over to Trey. Trey's got it. He's going to stop. Get reset. Long pass to Eric. Eric got it. Put it up. Good. All right. Eric is just adding to that total tonight. 52-21. Not only that, Eric is going to get to go to the three-point line and shoot a, a one free throw, it looks like. All right. And that is foul number two on number 10, Chase Lesh. Okay. Foul number two. So two team fouls for each the Phoenix and the Wildcats so far in the early half of the third quarter. So, um, driving to the basket, up, no good. Rebound, Trey Carter, he's got it. All right, moving back up the court. He goes, long pass down low, got a hand on it. Looks like last touch by the Phoenix. All right, last touch by the Phoenix, so El Dorado is gonna get to go back on offense. 21 to 52 is your score. Atchison is up by 31 points um, with 440 to go in the third quarter. El Dorado's got it. Working outside. Out of at the top of the three point line, down low. Shot blocked by Jeter, rebounded by Eric. Eric's got it, he's moving up the court quickly. He gets it to Zamar, Zamar puts it up, no good. Rebound by... Trey got it. He got it in just in time. Jeter got it to Zamar. Zamar puts it back. He's good. 54 to 21. All right. El Dorado back on offense. Moving quickly here. Trying to cut into this Phoenix lead. But that Phoenix defense has been phenomenal all night long. All right. We do have a stoppage of play here. Foul on is the third team foul of the night for the Phoenix. And that is Zamar. And that is his third of the night. Okay. So Zamar and Trey each with three fouls here. Just over halfway through the um, third quarter. Alright. Elder Raiders got it on offense, inbounds up, good. All right, Phoenix now on offense, pushing the pace fast. Trey is running up that court. Trey's got it, he gets it over to Jeter, passes about, intercepted, but uh, Trey gets that right back. Oh, they get tangled up there. They get tangled up there. Looks like that was inadvertent contact. Out comes Jeter. In comes Jace for the Phoenix. The Wildcats are also making a substitution. All right, Trey ready to inbounds the ball. Trey's got a long pass. Oh, that is got by Jason. Jace put it up and he's got his first points of the night. All right, so two more points for the Phoenix. Your score now 56 to 23. Phoenix up by 33 here, 320 to go in the first, or I'm sorry, in the third quarter. All right, J uh, Jace there on off on defense. El Dorado still on offense here. Once again, working outside that three-point line. They're gonna drive to the basket, put up a shot. Shot no good, rebounded by Trey Carter. He got it. 
Uh, had a wildcat hit the deck there. He gets right back up, and Trey's going to move down. Trey's going to pass it to Yogi, who passes it to Jace, who looks like Jace just couldn't quite get the handle on it. And out of bounds off of the Phoenix. So that is going to give El Dorado possession of the ball. All right, I see Eric came out of the game. And back in is Jay-Z Kelly. Jay-Z is back in the game here. El Dorado on offense. Phoenix with a 33-point lead with 2.47 to go in the third quarter. Yogi almost got a hand on that. Driving down low. Shot up, no good. Rebounded by Yogi Purdy. He got it. He hands it right back to Trey. Trey's long pass over to Zamar. Zamar's got it. Oh, he tried to got it, get it to Jace Richards, but had a Wildcat step right in front of it. Back on offense, driving to the basket of the Wildcats. We are going to have a foul. Possession will stay with the Wildcats here. That is Zamar Hernandez. Foul on Zamar. He's got four. He's got four. You only get five to nine. So he's he's starting to get into a little bit of foul trouble here. Uh, looks like Zamar comes off and in comes Jeter. Jeter's right back into the game here. Got a little bit of uh, a breather. Long pass over. Out of bounds. Off the hand of the Wildcats. So Jeter's going to inbound the ball to Trey. And they're going to move it up the court. All right. Trey's got it. Off we go here. Four team fouls to three team fouls. 56 to 23 is your score. 2.15 to go. Stretching it out here. A lot of passing going on now for the Phoenix. They don't seem like they're in as much of a hurry to score. And if Trey gets a good look, don't be surprised if he takes a three and he got the look he wanted. Puts up a three, no good. Off the backboard, rebounded by Jason Kelly. Jesus has got it, gets it down low to Trey. Trey puts it back right, right there. Two more points for the Phoenix, 58 to 23. 144 to go, 140 to go in the third quarter. Long pass for the Wildcats, they're back on offense here. All right, we're moving, moving. So awaiting the winner of this game is the winner of uh, Eudora and Parsons. And Eudora looks like it looks like Parsons had to go all the way up to Eudora tonight. So we'll see if we get a score for that before the end of the night. I'll let you guys know. But I doubt we'll get a score before the end of the night. So, we do have a foul here that has been called. It looks like we have a, a Wildcat going to the free throw line. There's a 15 foul on the ninth. Shot up is good. That's number 10 at the free throw line, Chase Lesh. And Lesh is 38% on the, on the year for free throws. 24 points now for the Wildcats. And that foul was on number 31, Jace Richards. Okay, Jace Richards, and that is his first foul of the night. All right, 25 to 58 is your score here. Jeter's got the ball. He's going to get it into Trey. Trey's going to move up the court. Does not seem to be as urgent as it was. We're coming down on a minute to go in the third quarter. Over to Jeter. Jeter's got it. He's going to move around. He's going to get it back out to Trey. Trey's moving around, trying to make a move. Looks like we're going to have a timeout called here. Looks like Coach Battle might have called timeout. Yeah, it looks like Coach Battle did call timeout here. No, Coach Battle did not call time. Looks like the ref, ooh, we're gonna have a technical foul here. We're shooting technical violation shots. All right, and that was on number 23. That's Eric, that's his second foul. Not sure what happened down there. First one is up. Good, second one, no good. That was number one at the line, Logan Gardner. Uh, on the year, he is 44%. All right, on the floor for the Phoenix, you have Yogi Purdy, number 33, Trey Carter, number three, Jeter, number two. Um, 
once they get all in frame. Jace Richards, number 31. And Jay-Z Kelly, number 10. Shot up, no good for the Wildcats, but it looks like there is going to be a foul, judging by Jay-Z's reaction there. Looks like it is going to be on him. All right, so that is his first foul tonight. That was on Jay-Z. All right, free throws. That is, once again, that is Logan Gardner, 44% from the free throw line on the year. First one is up and good. Second one is up. And that one is good as well. So Phoenix lead is down to 30. All right, Trey's got it. He's on offense here. Trey making a move. Thought about it. Jay-Z's going to take a long three. Shot up. No good. Rebound by El Dorado and the Wildcats. All right. Moving it up. Oh, Jay-Z got that. He got a hand on it. And now it's back to the Phoenix ball. He's going to throw it out to Jeter. Jeter's got it. He's going to take. Jay-Z's got another shot at a three. Up. No good. Rebound. Yogi Purdy got that one. Over to Jeter, his brother. Jeter's going to drive to Yogi's. Got it. Yogi got it. Two more for the Phoenix. 60 to 28 is your score. Five, four. Three coming up at the end of the third. Long three to end the quarter. No good. End of the third quarter. Your score, Atchison Phoenix 60. El Dorado Wildcats 28. So the Phoenix lead by 32 right now. Phoenix lead by 32. Out come the cheerleaders. We're going to take a second here while we're at this break. And we are going to thank our sponsors. Uh, Cornerstone Kearney, Safety Stone down there. Did a great job getting our t-shirts ready and all that fun stuff. And Daylight Donuts, they, well, we want to thank them for sponsoring our broadcast and live streams. And also, for those of you who don't know, we broadcast the news every day. We have broadcast the Action Phoenix News every day. Um, and that is do also done by our student broadcasters. They do a great job with the news. Um, they have a lot of fun with it. Don't you want to see, you want to see the kids having fun with stuff like that? Because it's, you know, they, they love doing it. And I am very, very I, I learned stuff during the as well. All right, so entering the fourth quarter, you got to imagine that the Phoenix are going to try and slow down the offense and just chew this clock, right? you got to chew this clock, this last eight minutes. Get out of here healthy. Get out of here healthy and get ready for the winner of Eudora and Parsons. Parsons' record on the year 9-11, and 11, Eudora 12-8. and 8. Actually, we did play Eudora early in the year to start the year off. Um, and if, if we do end up playing Eudora or Parsons, we'll, we'll do some, we'll figure out all that fun stuff, all right? All right, Jeter getting ready to inbounds the ball. He, he gets it to Trey. All right, third quarter underway, or I'm sorry, fourth quarter underway here. Trey's got the ball. Passes it down low to Zamar. Zamar's got it. Shot up, blocked, but it looks like there is going to be a foul call. All right, uh, so Zamar's going to get two free throws. That is number three on the year. Or that is number three, uh, Trace Fowler, and that is his third on the night. Okay. So Zamar, free throw percentage for Zamar, 68.4 on the year. His first free throw is up, no good. Second free throw up coming here. And we do, we are running the clock here. Second free throw is up and good. So 61 to 28 is the score here at the 720 mark of the fourth quarter. Looks like the clock is running. So we'll see what see what ends up happening here. Oh, Zamar stole that ball. He's gonna run down the court. He's got two on one. Layup up and good. 63 to 28 is the score now. Less than seven to go. Oh, Eric almost had that. That was so close. So close. And then we're going to get a stoppage of play. Ball is handed to the official. Looks like that is going to be um, ball for the Phoenix. All right. Trey to Zamar. Zamar to Trey. Trey's got it. He's working there. Got to run this offense. Out to Zamar. Zamar thought about a three, decided against it. Gets it out to Jay-Z, who gets it over to Trey. Trey's going to take a long three. Shot up. No good. Just looked like it was a little bit long. All right. Rebounded by the Wildcats. They're going to drive down low. They're going to think about putting up a shot. And not going to get there. Shot's blocked. Popped up. Ball is now 
in favor of the, oh, we got a little kerfuffle going on here. All right, everybody's being sent back to their respective benches. Clock's still running here. We're getting down to six minutes to go. Timeout, refs uh, officials timeout here. They're gonna decide what to do. Phoenix leads 63 to 28. Oh, no, I think you have an official time. So I'm not sure if the clock runs or if it stops during the official time. I'm assuming it's going to stop, but we'll discuss what, how to proceed here. Hopefully we'll get a decision in the immediate future. this. Um, the Phoenix are coached by head coach Pat Battle, assisted by Mark May and Christian Arnold. <laughs> uh, your managers are Marisol Carroll, Chris, and Mark Wentz-Owens. Uh, the Elderator Wildcats, they are coached by Drew Culbertson, assisted by Corey Garland and Jason Morgia. All right, so here we go. Resuming play, 5.58 on the clock. And we've got Eldorado getting ready to inbounds it. They get it in. Trying to set up the offense here. Jamar's on defense there. Making a move, shot up, no good. We're gonna get some free throws here. That is gonna be a foul. I'm gonna assume that is on Zamar. And that is Zamar's fifth foul tonight, so he is done for the night. Out comes Zamar, in comes Yogi. 62-28. Clock's still running here. Five, less than five and a half to go in this in this basketball game. Like I said, we will be back on Saturday at we'll be back on Saturday to broadcast the Substate Championship game. Okay, we're going to start broadcasting about 4:30. Um, game doesn't start until five. So we're going to have a little bit of a more an elaborate pregame show for you. Um, I have convinced Coach Battle to get uh, to give us an on-camera interview. So we're going to have that, and we can hear directly from the head coach himself. And Jeter's going to put up a shot, and he's going to make it. All right, that's going to be the second team foul of the night on the, or this quarter. Ten total on the night, I think, from the Wildcats. And Jeter's going to head to the free throw line while the clock's moving. Almost four and a half to go. Judah's first free throw is up. No good. Rebounded by the Wildcats. Back on offense they go. 65 to 30 is your score. All right. El Dorado still on offense. That was number 10 on that foul. And that was Chase Lesh, and that is his fourth of the night. We're getting down into crunch time here, so... Um, Coach Battle is trying to get his guys some work. And that is going to be a ball that is out of bounds. Clock is going to run. And in come the youngins. In come some of the young guys. Uh, get some guys some minutes uh, to finish up this, these last four minutes of this ball game. Here. All right. Incoming. It looks like that is number 22, Kale Williams. Jace Richards. Josiah Thompson. Aiden Rebant, and I'm trying to remember that last one there. That is number 40, Aaron Friedel. All right, in come the young guys. Here we go. And that is going to be ball out of bounds off of the hand of the Wildcats. Looks like the starters are done for the night. And we've got um, some younger guys in, going to get some playing time, some experience at the varsity level. All right, that is Josiah Thompson, and he's got the ball. He's going to run this offense here from here on out. Over to uh, Aaron Friedel. He's got it. He's going to pass it over to Jace Richards. Jace Richards over to Kale Williams. Kale's got it. He's going to think about driving to the basket. Back out of there. Pass it over to Aiden. Aiden rebound. Back to Josiah Thompson. Oh, nice move there by Josiah Thompson. Kale Williams got it. He's going to put up a shot, and he makes it. Is that a three? It was his foot on the line. 68 is your score for the Phoenix. 68 points. Uh, two, thir two and a half to go. Uh, re shot no good. Rebound by Jace Richards. Over to Josiah Thompson, and he's going to take it up the floor. 
set up the offense here. Over to Aiden. Ooh, that was almost just out of reach. Over to Aaron Friedel. He's got it. He's going to pass it to Jace. Jace is going to take a long shot up. No good. Rebound by the Wildcats. Wildcats back on offense here. Two Less than 2.15 to go in this ball game. Shot up. Blocked by Jace. And we are going to have a foul called. Uh, shoving the foul call here. And that is going to be on number 30. So, Phoenix with the ball. Aiden's got it. He's going to put up a shot. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Jace tried to put it back. Oh, and Josiah Thompson gets it, and he puts it in. Phenomenal job there. 70-30. to 30. Phoenix up by 40 here. 135 to go in this ball game. Kale Williams on defense there. Josiah Thompson on defense. Trying to drive up. No good. Stoppage of play. That is Josiah Thompson. That is his first one of the night. That is his first one of the night. All right. Wildcats back on offense. Trying to inbound the ball. Long pass in. All right. Moving the ball around in the final minute of this game. Shot up. No good. Stop at your play again. Josiah Thompson has another foul on him. Aiden Rebant batted that ball right back into the cheerleaders there when he tried to inbound it. So it's going to go right back to the Wildcats on offense. 70 to 30 is your score. Phoenix up by 40. Ball is going to be out of bounds off the hand of the Wildcats. All right, inbounding here is going to be Aiden. Or that's Aaron. He's going to get it to Josiah Thompson. Josiah is going to take it up the court. 20 seconds to go here. Oh, ball's going to be stolen by the Wildcats. And they're going to lay it in. 32-70 to 70 is your score. Atchison up by 38. Phoenix driving down quick. Aiden's going to take a three. Oh, no good. Three seconds left. And that is going to do it for us tonight. All right, once again, we're going to start our broadcast at 4.30 on Saturday. We hope you join us. Thank you to our sponsors, Daylight Donuts and Cornerstone Turning, for sponsoring all of our broadcasts and live streams. They do a fantastic job for us. Uh, we will be back here from Atchison in Atchison, Kansas, Atchison High School. Um, we'll be back here on Saturday evening. Okay, we're going to start broadcasting about 4.30. Out come the cheerleaders to do the fight song. All right. I am thrilled to death that the Phoenix were able to get that win. Um, very good win. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk to Coach Battle. Um, and we'll get that and get his reaction to the win and get a preview of whoever we have. I never got a score. Um, I'm sure that will be posted to all of our school social medias. School social medias as soon as it's available. We thank you for joining us tonight, um, taking your time and being with us. Uh, and we want to thank once again all of our ad administrators, Dr. Nugent, our superintendent, our principal, Ms. Letitia Williams, our assistant principal, Mr. Blaine Clarity, and our athletic director, Mr. Tyler Lukoff. All right, that will do it tonight from Atchison, Kansas. Your final score, Atchison High School, 70, El Dorado High School, 32. Thank you and have a great night.